giant. Congratulations to last week's winners. Comic fam, we have Moss Hot Comic Books we gotta talk about. Comic books be spiking, and it's not just the ones that make our hot 10 lists. No, we got to talk about the sales that only happened one time this past week, but still had tremendous gains. Hit the subscribe, slap the like button. And Jem, as the kingpin, you might as well hit him off at number 10. It's only right that I feel this one. And we are ranking these books in order of highest dollar amount. With number 10, we have Amazing Spider-Man 50, Spider-Man No More, first appearance of Kingpin, and we're talking about a CGC 1.8, a book that sold for $212 back in July 2020, up 136%, now selling for $500. Jem, can you imagine if the rumors are correct that we will see Wilson Fisk potentially in Disney Plus in the Hawkeye series? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Vincent D'Onofrio reprised his role as Kingpin with all the nostalgia type of stuff we've been getting from Spider-Man No Way Home and now The Flash. If this spec is correct, we're going to have to relook at all of our defenders, particularly the ones that debuted during the Netflix good old days. At the list at number nine, we have Tales of Suspense 59. We like to call this series Toss for short. It's the first Captain America solo story in the Silver Age and the first appearance of Jarvis, the Avengers butler. A CGC 8.5 sold for $600 way back in 2012. It's up 40%, now selling for $840. I always thought this was an underappreciated Silver Age key. I just think people don't know about this book. Comic fam, Jem already alluded to it, that we picked 10 comics for this list. There are 26 total that made the runners-up list on Key Collector Comics available for both Androids and iPhones. Support the show. Use code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription. Check out all all the other record breakers because there's a lot of them and now let's talk about some demonic goodness jack kirby creations we have number eight the demon number one that's right the first appearance of etrick the demon also the first appearance of morgan Le Fay, the sister of madame xanadu and the first appearance of randu singh we got a cgc 9.4 to discuss a book that we haven't had a record-breaking sale since december of last year when it sold for 799 dollars this book is tough and high grade. Even the higher grade copies were prone to print rub because of that dark cover. We have an increase of 44% this week, landing it at an easy $1,150 new all-time high. Now, at number seven, we're talking about the origin of Batman, but specifically the murder of the Waynes in this very difficult to secure and high grade find in any grade batman 47 from the golden age we actually have two record-breaking sales to report on this classic batman story a 0.5 sold for 264 dollars back in 2016 it's up by 195 percent selling for 780 dollars with the new batman movie slated for march of 2022 could this be spec or is it just because this book doesn't come up very often? The 3.0 prior record was set in June 2020 for $1,250, and that's up 44% this week with an all-new high of 18 hundo. Moving on to number six on the list, we have some more Black Knight goodness. We're talking about Marvel Super Hero 17, the first meeting of Sir Percy, the original Black Knight, and Dane Whitman. We have the origin of Sir Percy, Black Knight, as well as the origin of the Ebony Dagger and Blade, both weapons that are crucial for the character development of these heroes. We have a 9.0 prior record set in January for $370, up 116% this week, now selling for $800. And the reviews are starting to trickle in. Jem, I'm getting a little worried. You know what? I haven't heard anything. Actually, a good friend of mine, Michael Roman at Everything Always, has seen the movie, and I've yet to ask him his thoughts on it. I guess I'm just going to go in blind to this one. That's actually how I go into superhero movies, very similar to how I go into horror movies. There's always something about it that has a redeeming quality that regardless of how bad the film is overall, I find something that I like. And I think the success of Black Knight has less to do about the eternal success and more to do about how Kit Harington will portray the character. Next at the list at number five we have avengers 52 a key black panther book yeah that's right avengers 52 is the first time the black panther joins the avengers and we're talking about a cgc 9.6 pretty high grade here it sold for 750 dollars back in 2009 it's up 76 percent now selling for 1320 i really enjoy this book getting some heat because i always thought it was undervalued it is a 
double key. This is the first appearance of the Grim Reaper, the brother to Wonder Man. And we saw this book spike prior to WandaVision with the spec being real, even Easter eggs pointing to Grim Reaper. But that was more of a shout out to the Tom King run. I think this book is getting heat because of Black Panther spec and it's well-deserved just like number four on the list. Star Wars, Darth Vader, number three, the one in 25 variant, the first appearance of Dr. Aphra. Plus the first appearance of her murderous droids, Triple Zero and BT-1. We're talking about the 1 out of 25 ratio variant by Salvador La Roca, and we're talking about an ungraded copy here. This book sold for $970 in February, now up 55%, selling for $1,500. That book must have been incredibly high grade, but I digress. It doesn't even matter because 9.6s have hit as low as six to $700 in the past three months on eBay. What's a $1,500 sale for a raw book? doing who knows hopefully the buyer knew what they were getting and the comic fam hits the subscribe and like button on this channel but not just here hit the link in the description and subscribe to gem mint over on gem mint collectibles what do you got going on over there gem Man, you know how we do it over here. A ton of statue unboxing and reviews, the weekly comic book reviews, the live shows and more. What was the biggest statue you've unboxed in the last quarter? What's funny about that is that I recently just picked up a ton of one-third scale statues. Superman Hushed by Prime 1, the blue and red costume with the sculpted cape and the black suit, Cyborg Superman, Doomsday. So I just happen to have a ton of humongous statues this last quarter. Comic fam, you got to take a look at these statues. Most members will only get to see these in pictures or convention floors at best. Some great eye candy. These reviews will have your jaw drop. They are so impeccable. Next at the list at number three, we have a Selena Kyle key book, Batman 42. Yeah, and I'm sure this is due to the fan reception of the Batman trailer that came out during DC fandom. It seems like it's given so many people so much hope with a big Catwoman presence in the trailer as well. Another Golden Age Batman book, issue 42, and it's a CGC 4.0. It sold for $1,200 back in December of 2020. It's now up 70%, selling for $2,040. This is the first cover appearance of Catwoman on the Batman title and the second appearance overall. Next at the list at number two, we're talking Groot. Yeah, Tales to Astonish 13, pre-hero stuff. Before he was the warm and cuddly Groot that we know and love today, he was the villain of this story. A CGC 2.0 sold for $1,888 in March. That's up 51%, now selling for $2,860. That 2.0... Clearing the 2K marker should demonstrate how difficult it is to grab this book in any grade. It's beloved and for good reason. Hit the subscribe, slap the like button. Let's chat a monster sale, a sale that almost made our hot 10. It was only one record that was broken, but it was so damn high that we have to report on it now. Man, first we talked about Dr. Afro. Now we're talking about Miles Morales. What is this, 2020 all over again? Ultimate Fallout 4, the Jejevic variant, first appearance of Miles Morales in a CGC 9.8. Now, the last time this thing broke records was in June when it sold for $25,000. And this week, an all new high, clearing past the $30,000 Marco. Mark? 24% increase, landing at $30,900 this week. Hot damn, comic fam. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this list. It'll answer you to win a Dune House of Atreides issue number one, Ben Templesmith comic Tom exclusive. The movie was amazing, and it could be yours. Have a great week. And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Comic fam, we got two other videos for you to check out. Peep the last hot 10 with Gem Mint, the comics defining this generation of collectors, the health of the comic book collecting market. And we also have a podcast that we produce. Enjoy it. I made it for you. Have a great week.